Okay, let's take a quick look at how we can search the Apple App Store to find content that might be useful in your classroom. On your iPad, go ahead and launch the App Store. This is what the icon looks like. Once inside the App Store, you see these banners and categories showing all sorts of new and popular apps on the store. Of course, many of these are games and are therefore not necessarily relevant to what we're looking for. So the best way to find the educational content is to tap on Categories and select Education. This brings you to the Apple App Store Education page. Now on this page we have a variety of resources that we can look at including some featured apps across the top and then some different groups of apps that have been curated for us. Now really the best place to look is under these collections. You'll notice I have this first one right here named Education Collections. And if we go into that, we see all of these icons, which are groups of apps that have been curated around a particular topic. For example, let's say you want to have your students uh, do some writing. You can select the Apps for Writers. And this takes you to a variety of collections of apps that have been put together that can support writing. So you see here we have journaling and blogging, we have uh, word games, etc. You can, of course, then select any of these apps, like let's take a look at ByWord here. And it will bring up a window that will give you some screenshots of the apps. If you tap on the screenshots, you can get a full version of the screenshot to see what the app looks like. Uh, in addition, you can scroll down and read a description of the app. You can read user reviews of the app to see what people think of it. And of course, you can also see related apps, so similar apps. Okay? You'll also notice right by the icon the price of the app. Of course, we like to use free apps whenever possible, but if you find a great tool that is paid, we can look into possibly purchasing it for you and the students. I'm going to go back to my main screen here, and let's look at some other collections. Notice I have uh, a collection that is just for educators. So these are teacher tools, and these include lesson ideas. These are iBooks you can download um, using different apps in the classroom. Again, these are more iBooks, and then links to more curated collections. There really is a tremendous wealth of content on the App Store that you can explore. Scrolling down, I see other collections by discipline, science, art, music, etc. And that continues down below here. And as I scroll lower, I get different grade levels. So these would be middle school level apps that you can search, high school level apps. So for example, let's take a look at high school math. And we see collections sorted by topic, algebra, geometry, calculus, etc. And you can, of course, scroll through and look at any of these apps in detail. If I scroll down even further, I see different higher education topics. So these are more advanced apps that can be used. And then a variety of other resources throughout the page. You can even look at teacher tools down on the bottom and find a collection around just tools to use in the classroom. Class projects, inspiration, reference, etc. So please feel free to take a look at the App Store and locate any apps that you might be interested in downloading. Free apps, you can go ahead and download and try them out on your own. And if you decide you'd like them added to our catalog for our students, just let me know. Thanks very much.